Hello my little freaky neeks, thank you for coming back to my channel for yet another video. This video is going to be a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit more slightly serious because it's going to be getting to know me. As you guys heard from a few of my other videos, um, me kind of throwing a little comment out there saying I was born in the wrong gender. But it hasn't been an, uh, an easy process for me. I've been denied by numerous doctors saying that they don't, either don't take my insurance or they just cannot see me or yada yada yada. There's always kind of like an excuse of reasons why they cannot see me. Um, so it's not it's not been easy for me and where I live now it's in the middle of nowhere which is in the country in a little town called Salma it's in Fresno County so that's besides the point out here we're very limited with doctors that are willing to help and doctors that are helping transgendered women anyways so it's not the easiest of trying to find people that are gonna like help me out with my transition with getting me my hormones my t-shots or just anything of that matter to be honest well i thought it would be kind of interesting to kind of document my my journey on this and kind of like let you guys go along this with me and i can show you guys how you know my kind of struggle with this is going to be um the reason why I say going to be is because it's already been a bit of, um, you know, a bit of a struggle right now, kind of like trying to get on hormones, trying to find a doctor that will work with me, um, you know, just living in a really small town, um, getting denied a lot of jobs and getting, you know, discriminated, just a lot of bullshit pretty much a lot of fucking bullshit that I kind of deal with on a daily basis um I've been really wanting to do like vlogs throughout like me walking the streets and kind of you guys seeing the type of shit that I kind of get dealt with every day um because online what, what actually what I really don't understand is I dress very the way that you see me online, I dress that way. What you get is what you kind of get. What you see is what you get, I guess what I'm trying to say is. Um, I'm always in like some... Like I'm always in some provocative clothing because I like that. That's what that's my style and I'm not trying to accommodate to anybody. I'm not trying to change who I am just to let other people kind of feel comfortable. Fuck no, I'm going to be me as much as I fucking want until the day I'm six feet under the ground. That's besides the point. Um, I'm gonna continue being myself forever. For, as if I can live forever, I'm gonna continue being me until then. I don't see why people stop being themselves to, you know, I mean, okay, maybe some people do it for family or whatever. I personally still cannot do something like that. There's certain things that I wear that, you know, my mom doesn't like. There's certain things that I wear that I'm sure, like, people in the streets are like. But I, quite frankly, I don't give a fuck. Like, I really don't. Like, I really don't see why people get bothered on people being themselves. What I never understood as well is when people see celebrities online or see celebrities in like some tabloids or performing places they see them wearing these crazy clothing with these big hair big makeup like crazy outfits or whatever and people are like oh my god did you see what did you see what gaga was wearing did you see what Cher was wearing madonna like these these celebrities or whatever but when they see somebody doing that in real life, it's it's shameful. It's bad. It's fucking blasphemy. Like everybody burned the motherfucker. Like they shouldn't be alive. Like why? Like why is it that way? And I I will it will never comprehend in my brain why people are that way. But I really wanted to make this video to kind of like have this journey to my transition with me. I mean, I've been 
trans since I could remember that I was alive. Like I knew that I was different. I knew that I wasn't in the right body that I was supposed to be. Um, I remember when I was small, like there was this, I, I don't know, maybe I was like five years old, four maybe, but I was seeing like couples and they were like hugging each other, like, like arm to arm or whatever, just like caressing each other. And I was just like, I would always think about it. I'm like, wow, I, I want to be like the girl. I want to be the one getting held. I want to be the one um, getting that love and that affection and yada, yada, yada. But in the same sense, it's kind of funny now because like, I'm very affectionate. Like I'm very like clingy. I'm kind of like on that person as well, like kissing and touching and groping and doing all that fun stuff. But in the same sense, like, I guess the whole fact of just me wanting to be that girl or me wanting to be that more femme person kind of like is the big factor of the story. Um, like I, there's even, uh, celebrities back when I was younger that I've always wished to be like, like Selena was one of my big inspirations when I was younger. I would watch her movie over and over and over again. And I really thought the lady that kind of killed her was the lady that <laughs> killed her. When I would see her in other movies, I'm like, mom, why are they letting that lady still be in movies when she killed Selena? And my mom was like, that's not really her. But yeah, like it's. Anyways, um, yeah, from, I can remember, like, there was always something kind of, like, off about the whole situation, the kind of, like, what I was in, what I look like, and the body that I was in. I was just never happy. I was never comfortable. I never liked what I looked like, so I kind of, like, hit it with, like, like how everybody kind of does when whatever they kind of wear so many layers of clothing to kind of like hide who they are because they're kind of like ashamed they're like they're ashamed of their body they're ashamed of what they look like and so i would do that i would just wear so many different layers so like packed on like sweaters and layers of shirts and i would wear pants under shorts and well shorts under pants shorts under pants yeah yeah or like sometimes I would even wear like two pairs of pants like it was that kind of that kind of weird but and then growing up I've kind of realized like I, I, I knew fashion I knew making clothing I knew makeup well not knew it but I started learning about it and started experimenting and figuring out like what kind of goes with what and um like what kind of goes with what and what do I like? What do I not like? And then now I've kind of like created the style that I have like today or the ongoing style. But that I still feel like there's a huge part of me missing though. Like I feel like there's something that's not yet finished. And so it was a couple years back because I would always go by like androgynous. I was always androgynous like or like an alien and it was way before like the big trend of everybody wanting to be an alien trans or transgendered wasn't as big of a thing as it is now or as talked about and so before i would always just say i was androgynous which i i still am i still highly stand by me being androgynous because just because um I'm transgender doesn't mean that I'm not androgynous like that's not what that means um like they're kind of like two different things androgyny is kind of like has male and female appearance and I've always embodied that no matter what I've always liked the look I always thought it was so beautiful so it flows with like my voice because I feel like my voice is very boyish still but my image is very femme and I don't know what I was kind of going with that part, but, um, yeah. So I, yeah, like, as I was saying, I was still, I would always, I start off saying that I was androgynous. Like I was this, you know, mixed gendered person. And for the longest, like, I've just never wanted to consider myself like male 
or I never said that I wasn't female. I just would say that I, you know, wasn't a guy. I would always go to the girls' restrooms. I would always do girl things, wear girls' clothing, always wear high heels. Um, there was never like a time where I was kind of like confused of like, who am I? Who am I not? It was, I kind of knew who I was. I already knew that I wasn't a boy because I wasn't comfortable being a boy. And yeah, so I just kind of like was, okay, let's kind of go this way and start dressing this way. And since um, I'm not fully transitioning, I'm just going to go by um, that I'm androgynous. And so that's kind of like what I was um, labeling myself as in the beginning. Okay, I had to turn off the stupid notifications because I felt like every time like it was buzzing, like it was kind of like going off. I mean, I couldn't hear it personally, but I mean, not yet because I haven't watched back the videos, but it was annoying the fuck out of me. So as I was saying, um, where was I at? But with all that being said, um, all that stuff that I kind of like got off the topic with and I was just kind of like telling you a little bit of a story, but I thought I would start documenting my transitioning to becoming the person that I was supposed to be. Like, I already have, I have a scheduled appointment on December the 10th to, you know, get my blood work going and so I can finally start my hormone process and I'm really, really, really excited about that um, because I've been... Like I said, I've been trying for already years to find a doctor that will is willing to work with me, find um, a clinic that's willing to take my insurance and all that jazz or whatever. But uh, finally, I'm going to be able to start. And so I wanted to, you know, start. I, I really wish I could have like started documenting this like months ago, like I swear like months ago so you guys can kind of like know how much how much of a struggle it's been like how many times I've gotten denied how many times I've gotten you know pushed away the doors closed on me and it's just not the most loveliest feeling and it's really hard it's really freaking difficult for us to try to get our meds and try to get the stuff that we need so we can feel more comfortable in our skin and a lot of doctors, I want to say it's because of our fucking president now. I want to say because we have that piece of shit president that kind of said that it's like okay to deny anybody that's in the LGBT community if they don't, if the doctor doesn't want to work on them. Because I really don't want to get into that right now, but it all, I kind of feel like it just goes back to that. And that's enough with that kind of topic. But yeah, so as I was saying, I have an appointment on the 10th of December. It is the 11th or 12th. I don't know what it is. It's some day in November still, which my birthday is coming up on the 21st of November. So I'm really excited about that because it's the day that I was released from a vagina. So I just thought I would make this quick video. I want to consider this like my day one of kind of like a journal, I guess. Like this is my day one. I already kind of know who I am. I found who I was like many, many, many moons ago. Now it's me kind of like fixing the person who I'm supposed to be into this goddess of a person that I have envisioned in my head so continue on this journey with me me and hopefully within a few months maybe even a few years from now I could look back at this video and see my progress thank you to all of my supporting people fans friends family that have also kind of been on this journey off camera with me mostly my friends um because you guys 
really mean a lot to me and you guys know that. I love you guys so much and thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for understanding my crazy mind sometimes and, you know, just dusting off the dirt off my leather and loving me. I don't know. I really don't even know how to end this video. I don't know how I'm going to end any of these videos, I guess, but I... I just wanted to kind of like give a quick little rundown. I will give more information of like what's happening throughout the process of everything and tell you more stories throughout. So I guess this would be like my little story time with you guys as well as, you know, the mukbangs and the makeup tutorials and just me doing whatever I do with my life. But this is just one added bonus. Get to know me. Yeah. So... Bye.